Welcome to our new video. The topic that we're going to talk today is pseudofolliculitis barbae, and this is also known as razor bumps. Stay with us to learn more about this disease. Let's get started. This is inflammatory skin reaction in response to short hair that becomes entrapped within the skin. And it's common chronic and inflammatory skin condition that occurs as a result of shaving. It's mainly seen in men of African descent and you can find one of the patients with this condition from the right side of the screen. And it's commonly seen in African American men because their shafts typically form tight coils and it's estimated that 45% to 94% of all African-American men will experience pseudofolliculitis barbae at some point during their lifetime. And what you're going to see is firm, hyperpigmented, tender, and pruritic papules and pustules. This is what we can see in pseudofolliculitis barbae and but it may progress to scarring and keloid formation in some individuals and this is keloid that we are talking about it can cause scarring or keloid formation and it's commonly seen in beard region cheeks jaw and neck but it can also occur on any body side where hair is shaved or plucked, including axilla, pubic area, and legs. And it has been reported that most pseudofolliculitis barbae papules and pustules will disappear after one month of continuous hair growth. It's not a serious condition. And how you can prevent this condition? First, you should avoid shaving too closely and you should shave in the direction of hair growth rather than against the grain and you should use a non-irritating shaving cream and you can use an electric razor you can avoid pulling skin while shaving and you can reduce the frequency of shaving and you should replace your razor frequently in order to avoid this condition. Lastly, let's talk about the treatments. Cessation of shaving is helpful, but you can use adjunctive topical therapies. For example, topical corticosteroids to reduce inflammation and antimicrobial therapy to treat secondary infections. And this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and you can comment down below for helping our channel.